right guys, so now RJ and I are heading to a place that I think you guys will really love. Um, I certainly love this place and it's a place I need to go to to get some certain items. Our favorite plant nursery, yes! We've brought you guys here before once. Remember when we bought that perch for Ligaya? Is that Ligaya's perch? This right here. Anyway, we bought Ligaya an awesome perch. Um, they sell them here for very cheap. Look at that fiddle leaf vine. They've got tons of awesome, amazing plants here. By the way guys, if you're new to the vlogs and to this channel, welcome to the channel. My name is Mikey Bustos. This is RJ Garcia. Mm -hmm. Be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and hit the subscribe button to join the Mabuhai Squad. We'll be your daily dose of positive vibes. Okay, let's nerd out on plants. Oh, look at this. Beautiful plants, ferns. Oh, look at all of these bromeliads, these air plants, telangias. Guys, these plants grow, they're called epiphytically. They're epiphytes. They grow without soil, like in little nooks and crannies. They only need to be sprayed. And they also take their moisture from the air. Aren't they beautiful? Gorgeous. All right, so the reason I'm here is because I'm looking for possibly a, a small tree. Oh, Groot. Yeah. I am Groot. They've got lots of decor here, guys. I'm here to buy a small tree because for the Ants Canada channel, maybe acquiring, or I'm pretty sure I'm requiring, a weaver ant nest. Why? Because weaver ants are the most highly requested ant species to keep on my channel. And I used to keep them five years ago they grew to a size I couldn't take care of them anymore and so I let them go but we're approaching 3 million subscribers now and I figured hey let's do something special let's introduce a new ant colony to the channel by the way in case you don't know I have another channel called Ants Canada yes that's me so I'm getting a weaver ant nest now the thing is they need a very specialized like enclosure these ants don't like burrow in the soil like normal ants these ants build nests in leaves. They like build these leaf nests in trees where they glue the leaves together and they create these like hanging basket nests. It's really awesome. And they use the silk from their young to glue these leaves together. It's really fantastic. Really awesome species, difficult to keep, mostly because of like enclosure requirements. And so I need to look for like the perfect tree. Like, <laughs> It's gotta be a bonsai tree because I don't want no huge like mango tree growing in my house You know what I'm saying? I don't even have the lighting and like the soil space for that So I gotta look This plant here would be super ideal I believe this is calamansi or some kind of citrus It's too, it's so big This is a large shrub It's already a large tree now I would just like place this big tree on like an island somehow. I've thought of doing this and then just letting the ants live on the tree and build their nest in the tree but I don't have the space to create a huge island. I need something smaller than this. RJ what did you get? Oh the trowel. Awesome. Oh how cute. Awesome. <laughs> Where are we gonna put this? And a Talanja. How nice. They sell herbs here. They got everything here. Is this Caladium? Oh, beautiful. So cute. Oh, this little kitty looks blind. Are you blind? Look at the kitties are so tiny. There's mom. Don't worry, mom. I'm just filming your little one. Oh, and there's dad, I'm sure. Okay. Don't worry, we're leaving. They're so adorable. Bye-bye. <laughs> this cat's just chilling. Wow, look at all these plants. This is a gardener's heaven right now. <gasps> this goes on and on. Bay, I can't wait to have our garden. Who's going to do the landscaping? Is it going to be architect Dennis who will yeah. handle landscaping? I think so. Okay. Not us. We can do it too. Are you good at gardening? Yes. Are you good at growing plants? I think so. Do you have a green thumb or a black thumb? Green. Here we go. 
the bonsais. But now that I'm looking at it, the bonsai is really big. Like, how am I gonna stick this in a tank? And also the leaves are really small. So like, I don't see how the ants would be able to weave a sizable nest from leaves this big. Hmm, see this bonsai? Nah, I don't think they can build a nest in that. Certainly not in this. Hmm, hmm. Guys, this is gonna be a challenge. Another option I could do is basically build a fake plant nest, like a, a fake tree. But the thing is, the ants benefit from the transpiration from the plants. Like, you know, plants transpire. I don't know if you guys go back to biology class, like they sweat. They release like steam, humidity, moisture in order to like, so like nutrients can come from the soil up. That's how usually it works. And the ants benefit from all of that, from all of that very useful humidity. So basically these ants build leaf nests and in these leaf nests they have natural humidifiers inside so if i make an artificial setup it needs to have some kind of humidifier inside hello engineering project i thought i finished school a long time ago or i thought i quit school a long time ago rather okay here this here is calamansi it's a fruit bearing tree it's uh, it's like a citrus fruit tree that we saw earlier but this one is actually an, a nice size it's not too too bad and i think I think the ants might be able to make nests from this. Man, but I'm gonna need some really good lighting to keep this thing alive. OMG, okay, ficus. I believe that's ficus benjamina. Apparently they can nest in that too. So maybe that's better. And it's also a low light requiring plant. Like it's a very popular indoor plant. So that might work. We'll get the smallest. Yes, yes. All right, ficus benjamina guys. Let's see. RJ says this one's better. Yeah, okay, we're gonna get this. I might have to cut it down though for size. And also, I'm thinking of getting this, Schifflera, because it kind of resembles the leaves of a calamansi, which I know for a fact that weaver ants love because the last time I had weaver ants, they built their nest on a plant, calamansi plant, and it kind of looked like this, Schifflera. Now, Schifflera stays, it's an umbrella tree, but it's it stays relatively small. Okay, so she's telling me that this needs a lot of light, hmm, which makes me change my mind. I mean, I will have a light fixture on it, but she's making me second guess myself. I mean, we used to keep this in the kitchen growing up in Toronto, and it survived. But then again, my mom would take it out every now and then to get some sunlight. Huh. So now I'm thinking we should maybe just get this. Yeah. It is smaller too, so like it can fit in a tank. Hmm. Choices, choices. Now RJ's saying that this is a good plant for indoor and he's correct. It's called fiddle leaf fig. Can weaver ants build nests in this? Probably. I would need a much smaller plant though. Like they grow quite large and they're very popular indoor plants. Okay guys, now we're here in Cartamar. Yes, see Cartamar. Our favorite pet supply place, but I'm checking out some other plants. So now I'm looking at these plants. They're, we, here they call them money tree and I like them because the leaves kind of resemble mango leaves and the ants love nesting in mango trees. So maybe the weaver ants might make some cool nests on, uh, on this plant. I think I'm gonna take one. What do you guys think? Looks nice, right? All right, so now we're here, like aquarium part, because we need to find someone to build me a proper tank with the specs that I need to contain these ants, you know what I'm saying? Gosh, I know I vlogged this place so much, but oh, look at that, wow, beautiful tank. Do you imagine this in a living room? You got tetras in there, all of that, those are live plants. It's like a carpet of live plants, just gorgeous. Personally, it is kind of overstocked, but it looks, nice right now. What's going on, Mac? Hey, what's up? Yes. It's perfect because Reptilab actually sells units like this, display units. It's perfect for the Weaver ends. I don't gotta have to worry about having them customize anything. Awesome. And look, guys, I have a new friend. What's your name? I'm Martin Angelo Pasquale. Martin Angelo Pasquale. All right, he's got the Zoom Med hat and everything. Obvious. But check out what he has inside this little box. Guys, look! Hello, cockatiel. It's for hand feed. Wow! Light. It's a baby cockatiel. You're gonna hand feed it? Yes. Oh, good luck! <laughs> wow! Like, remember when we were like hand feeding Ligaya? Awesome. Good memories. You're 
good luck on the road ahead. Yes. Thank you. And because we're Filipino, we're taking pictures. All right. Sweet. Nice meeting you. Good luck with the bird. The what? Oh, oh, inventory. Uh, so you keep track of who's been sold and who hasn't. <laughs> Man, I miss working at a pet shop. My very first job was working at a pet shop in the reptile section. Like, talk about the best job a 17-year-old animal lover could have in the world. Oh, look, there's a sugar glider. Do you guys know sugar gliders? They're marsupials from Australia. They look like flying squirrels, but they make awesome pets. The only thing is they're a pet for night owls. They live up to 15 years. They need a tall cage, but if you get them really young, when they're still joeys, Oh, there's his little face. Oh, hear that sound, guys? He's trying to scare us. Okay, I'm sorry. I woke you up, little grumpy. So if you get them while they're really young, they won't do this. They imprint on you, and then they. Um... Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. They imprint on you, and then they like become bonded to you, like for life. It's really cute. You can keep them in a pocket, and then they just come out at night, and jump around, and pee on you. But they require a taming period. Oh, two more sugar gliders. Yeah, uh, a breeding pair? Yeah, we're on the process of taming them. Oh, good. They're in the taming phase. But Just keep them under your shirt all day long. They're omnivorous, so they eat like fruits, insects, even baby mice. Oh, look at this. Look at the color. It's a white face sugar glider. It's a white face. Oh, sweet. This is a male? Yes, that's the yeah. male one. Oh, no, See he's pooping. He's a male, he's pooping because he just came out of the pouch. <laughs> but you can tell he's a male because he's got a bald patch yeah. and that's what they use to for scent marking and all that. And here's the premium one. Oh, there's a... Oh, that is... That's beautiful. Is this leucistic? No, it is a silver... Silver mosaic pie? Okay, you know, back in my day when I used to keep these guys, they used to be super expensive, like in the thousands. Yeah. How much is this? Oh yeah, see, expensive. <laughs> but gorgeous. Okay, come on. Yes, don't be afraid. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> so gorgeous. Go ahead. Whoops. This one's lunging. <laughs> <laughs> Get off. Yeah, they're asleep during the day. I mean, you, there's a taming period. They become t they become bonded to you, especially if you keep them singly. And she peed on you. She likes you. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Knowing your lifestyle though, RJ, I don't think it would be a good pet for you. I know, they are cute though. They're super cute. And their cage, you need to clean their cage. They're like, the, remember when we had a dagat? It kind of smells like that, but different. It's fruity, their urine is fruity. This is a girl. But look how beautiful. That's 70,000 pesos. Look at those iguanas eating the veggies. I love it. I love watching iguanas eat. Can you believe these little lizards become six feet long? In Mexico, literally, they are in the trees running in the wild. It's really awesome. Such cute, cute sailfin lizards. They're babies now, but they grow quite large. If you saw our last vlog at this place, you'll know how big they get. They become scary looking. But such cool lizards. Look at that. Awesome. And they're native to Philippines too, which is pretty pretty neat. Hi there, Mr. Aldabra. Mm-hmm. RJ and I are gonna buy you one day. One day very soon. Hi Bogart! Hey, Bogart. Oh, Bogart's hungry. As usual. He loves that. Yeah. Those super worms. Mm. Bottomless pit. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Wow, what a living dinosaur. Awesome. More food, Bogart. Oh, you're worm. That long tongue smelling for that next superworm treat. There it is. So fast. Wow. Oh, man, I miss having carnivorous reptiles like this. But he would have a treat if he came to my place. He would love to eat Ligaya. <laughs> but they have babies here guys. Those are what the babies look like. Hey my boys, but we have a friend here. What's your name? Romel. Romel, all right. Professor and... in Perpetual. Oh, you're a professor? What what subject? Uh math computers. Awesome. <laughs> and also right. my baby Bible Baptist. Hi. Alright. And guys, he's an ant keeper. Yes, what and kind also of ant? A fish lover. <laughs> and a fish lover. One of Cartimar's addicts. Yeah, same here. We can relate. <laughs> what kind of ants do you have? 
I have Black Crazy and I have SJ Manada and a Carpenter and just a starting All right. colony. Sweet. <laughs> He's like, hey, it's Ant Canada. <laughs> Thank you for watching the channel. Hi, hello. Hi, yes. mom. <laughs> oh, man. Look how big this tank is. We're hoping it can fit in the van. The things we do for ants. Hey, guys. Got all our stuff. See that? See? I'm here holding this massive, massive tank. And I have all of these beautiful plants behind me. Products. Oh, we just got tons and tons of stuff. Always happens every time I come to Cardamar. Okay guys, seriously, you have no idea the amount of interior decorating we're gonna need to do. Like, redecorating of my ant room for this new ant colony. Yes, the guys, I've missed you. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. No treats. Go check here. Maybe I hid some. Maybe I didn't. Check around. Mm-hmm. So we're moving out old tanks. This used to have the rhino beetles, which are now all dead. By natural causes, they died of old age. So we're gonna put this in storage. Mm -hmm. I am not going to spoil the next Ants Canada video because I don't know when this vlog is coming out. But we sadly lost a colony in the Antiverse this week. So we're getting rid of that enclosure and rearranging. And we're getting rid of all of this cupboard too. We're gonna move this out, buy something new so it can accommodate this huge monster probably in this area. The Dark Knights will just move across or probably relocate those units somewhere. OMG guys, all right. So after a good three or four hours of work, I've finished and completed the entire setup. It looks so cool, but sadly I can't show you the setup just yet because it's gonna be airing on the Ants Canada channel. So if you're not subscribed to the Ants Canada channel, be sure to subscribe to Ants Canada. Go now, hit the bell, and uh, the episode will be coming out very soon. Wow, uh, the ant colony, the weaver ants, have arrived tonight, and I look forward to moving them in to this setup. The colony's here, I'll show you. Right there, in this bin, are tons of weaver ants. Woo, I can't wait. Ah, guys, I wish I could show you. It was an expensive setup, probably around as expensive as the Salva de Fuego. But it's so cool, it's one of the most amazing setups I've ever done. Most ambitious too. I'll show you real quick. Look carefully. One, two, three. Did you see it? Good morning, Mabuhai squad, yes. Mm -hmm. It's like 7 a.m. Had zero sleep because I was waiting for ants to move in to a new setup. My brain is working at like 30% right now. Here's some old coffee from yesterday. Good morning, the guys. Ate Elsie will be here soon. Daddy has somewhere important to go to. Guys, do you like my outfit? I rather like it. Why am I developing a British accent? All right, Mabuhai Squad, the time has come. <laughs> and this morning, we're here at the very special place 